Hi, Batya the Baby Coach here, helping you help your baby sleep. Today's sleep topic is baby sleep and daylight savings time. Okay, so I want to talk to you about the clock change that is happening soon. And I like to call it saving daylight savings because in essence, that's what we're trying to do. With the upcoming clock change, we're going to be falling backwards, which in essence means that we are making the clock one hour earlier. So if your baby wakes up every morning at 7 a.m. after you change the clocks, your baby's going to be waking up at 6 a.m. Now, in essence, it's the same time for your baby's body, but not necessarily the same time for you. So parents usually get really nervous before the time change because they're nervous that early rising is going to turn into even more early rising and that their babies are going to start waking up in the fives, in the sixes, or sometimes even in the fours. So let's talk about a few practical tips that you can implement to help prevent this drastic change for your baby's internal clock and to ensure that you can get the sleep you need. So step number one is about a week before the clock change, a week before we change the clocks, start making a game plan to tackle your baby's sleep so your baby's body is properly prepared for the time change. So what I want you to do for fall backwards when we're changing the clock earlier is Start one week before by slowly making your baby's bedtime later and later by about 10, 15 minute intervals every three to four nights. So you might start by your baby going to bed every night at 7 p.m. So the first three or four nights, instead of bedtime being 7 p.m., bump it a little bit later to 7, 10 p.m., maybe 7, 15 p.m. The goal is to not you know, stretch it too long that you're missing that sweet spot for bedtime when your baby is really tired and ready to go to sleep, but you don't want to do it too much also that your baby's going to get overtired. So 10 or 15 minutes, give or take, depending on what happened during the day. You do that for the initial three to four days. Then after that, when your baby's going to bed from 7 p.m. to suddenly 7.10, 7.15, after that period of three to four days, then bump bedtime to be another 10 or 15 minutes later. So 7.15 turns into 7.25, 7.27, you know, closer to that. So the goal is that the whole first week before the clock change, you've already knocked that whole half hour window out and your child is already acclimated to going to sleep about a half an hour later. Then the week after the time change, you do the same thing. Every three to four nights by 10, 15 minute intervals, increase your child's bedtime to be a little bit later. So the second week after the clock changes, 7.25, 7.30 turns into 7.35. 737. And then another three, four nights. So you spend basically a total of two weeks working on your child's shifting of their internal clock, but nothing's ever done too drastically. So you spend the first week on the first hour, half an hour, and the second week on the second half of an hour. So over the course of this two week period, your baby, your toddler's body can slowly get acclimated to the time change and nothing is done too drastically that suddenly your baby's expected to go to sleep an hour later, which is going to cause overtiredness, make your child wake up even earlier, and then a vicious cycle is going to happen. So do it this way. Slow and steady wins the race. If you delegate a proper amount of time, a good two weeks, your child's body is really going to adjust beautifully. And it might take a l another week or so afterwards for the mornings to also start catching up and you know the sixes slowly turning into the sevens. But doing it in this fashion will be the healthiest, slowest, and most gentle approach for your child. So that way you're not pushing them to do something too quickly. Okay, I'm really happy that you watched this today. I hope it helped you with some tips and ideas with how to navigate the time change with falling backwards. For more information, Click the banner above to download your free baby sleep guide titled Don't Cry It Out. There's tons of gentle solutions, practical solutions that you can implement in your home to help your baby sleep tonight without leaving your baby to cry it out. Happy sleeping.